All right, hey man. So here we got the eagle that you guys were looking at. I'm gonna do a walk around here on the video for you so you can see everything. It's a pretty cool unit, one of my favorites. So you got your propane tanks up front along with the, the new jack setup right here, which is going to be connected to your auto leveling system that comes with this unit. So it's gonna auto level on those guys right down here. They look like stabilizers, but those are levelers. Prep for the generator up front right here. This is where the generator would go. It would be a propane generator. Walk around this side. All your connections for your electrical will be right here on your 50 amp. Furnace, hot water heater. It's one of your drains. Comes with the Goodyear tires. Those tires are set for 88 miles an hour is what they'll disperse heat at and the road test it to 140 miles an hour. And it has the new suspension in system in it from Moride. It's gonna be the 3000 suspension. It means it has three inches of clearance up and down. Gives you a smoother ride. This part right here, that is going to be one of your auto levelers again. Back of the refrigerator, up and down. It is prepped for slide toppers. Ladder on the back, access to the roof. Roof is capable of holding 4,500 pounds. You can literally have a party deck up there. Two inch receiver on the back of the unit itself. Uh, it is weighted for 300 pounds of tongue weight, so you can add a bicycle rack and whatnot. Right here is a propane quick connect and disconnect quick coupler. So you can throw a barbecue back here or something and run off the propane tanks up front. Those propane tanks are 30 pounds a piece, so you do have 60 pounds of propane. Another one, your uh, auto levelers over there. Whole slide system underneath. I did set the awnings out for you, so you can see our awnings. We have two sets of awnings. We have one on this campsite slide, and we have one on the main part of the unit itself. So Jayco uh, does give you the bigger storage unit in here as you saw, motion sensor light, quick disconnect for the batteries, Furion that goes for a uh, little uh, mobile speaker that you can purchase and put there and it's a charging port for it. You do have your aluminum framing in this unit along with the extra insulation. Spray port here, that's for the outdoor shower connection, quick coupler again for the water so you can rinse stuff off. The outside Furion camera bracket, so you can add a camera on this side and the other side for your blind spots alongside your trailer. Also along with a backup camera in the rear that you can install. They did go with the new JBL audio system throughout the entire unit, outside and inside. I do like the fact that the, the speakers themselves are on the lower part of the unit. You're not blasting the rest of the campground, you get to just listen to music on your own. It does have the solid step stairs along with the big grab handle with the dip, the U-dip in it, makes it easy to get in and out of the trailer and back up in it. The climate shield I was telling you about earlier. There's typically a little light underneath here that is blue and it lights up the uh, stairwell so that you can see it at night. It's kind of just one of those cool little features that Jayco adds um, that others don't. We do have the Jayco On Command Center. It makes it a smart unit. Everything in here is going to be controlled from this panel right here. So all your slides, your lights, everything is controlled here. It also works via Bluetooth and it is just an app that you can put on your phone right there and everything in this unit is controlled from your phone as far as the auto leveling, the lights, putting the awnings in and out, the light bars on the awning, um, pretty much anything and everything you think of. Turning on and off the AC, the TPMS sensors and the tires, and all the above. So as we move through the unit, we do have the entrance door that we just walked through. I'm gonna come off to the left and we are going to come around the unit and kind of show you everything here. So I just got all the lights turned on from that Jayco on command. 
You do get the four door refrigerator. That is going to be a 11 or 12 cubic foot refrigerator. Pretty decent size. Get it opened up here. You can see. Sorry for the turn of the camera, but there you go. It does have a drawer down below the unit of the refrigerator for extra storage. Cabinet space down here, right below the center counter over here. Great for putting uh, Margaritaville or any kind of drinking station in, including uh, if you like your morning uh, beverages, coffee. So you got a little plug in right there. Another one of those charging stations for a Furion speaker. More pantry space. More pantry space up here. And then you do have, you can turn this into a cloak closet right here or another pantry. So the coat closet, or the pantry, will be set up this way. Coat closet, all you gotta do is fold this shelf up right here. And you use the smiling octopus hooks to do the coat closet. A little shoot, put your shoes down there. It is wired for solar all the way to the roof. So if you guys do want to operate on solar, you can do that. You do have the Furion three burner stove top with the glass shield on the back that folds over to keep it nice and neat. And then a little operation station right here so you can uh, have things sitting off the sides like seasonings and whatnot and oils while you're cooking to add to the dishes. Plug in right here along with um, one of your remote controls to control the ceiling lights, exterior lights, things like that. You do have all your deep cabinets throughout the unit. In this spot, there is four of them. They're all capable of holding 50 pounds each, and they're all soft closed cabinets. I don't know if you caught that one, but just like that. The pantry, another one right here, big pantry. And the cool thing with it is when you open it, it does have a LED light strip that runs the entire unit from top to bottom so that you have lighting on every single shelf. The shelves themselves are adjustable. So you can create shorter heights or taller heights, depending on what you want. It is a solid door to the pantry, along with most of the rest of the unit. This is a fake glass window. It's not real. You won't be able to see the stuff inside the pantry. It keeps it nice and clean. Your sink over here is the underneath mounted sink, stainless steel. Easy to keep clean. It does have the pull-out washer on the hose here, along with this fresh water connection right here. So this guy operates off its own pump, and you can buy one of those five-gallon jugs from Natural Grocers, King Supers, Home Depot, anywhere like that, and always have fresh water for drinking instead of using uh, well water, tank water, or camp water, anything along those lines. It comes from right here. You do have a power source on this part of the counter also. It does pop up out of the counter itself. You're going to see it right here. So you press down, pull up, and then you do have two outlets and two USBs to charge off of. USBs will always be DC power, outlets will always be AC power, which will be your 110. It does come with this little nifty drying rack here. You just put it right over the sink. It rolls up out of the way if you want to put it in storage. And that fits right over the sink. Use this drying rack. That is a bamboo cutting board for extra cutting area and surface that is flush mounted with the actual counter itself. And then they are Corian granite countertops on all through the entire thing, even on the little piece right over here. Like I said, all drawers are your soft shut and they're all 50 pound holders. Do have quite a bit of storage. I right, tank here, along with that five gallon jug that I was talking about earlier, would be stored under there and a place for a trash can. You don't have to have your trash can sitting outside like most trailers. It's really nice on that aspect. This is going to be a two and four person tabletop right here. Sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this open for you so you can check it out. It just folds up, does have storage underneath there, along with the fold out like that, put it down, and then you have space for four people to sit here. These are just covers to keep the chairs looking nice, along with storage underneath the chairs themselves. 
So you can add there. The other two chairs are folding chairs and they do hide away really nicely underneath the king size bed in the actual bedroom itself. So if you don't want the extra guests, you don't need to tell them that you have the other chairs. These guys right here are your Stacy Stewart collection couches, which is the designer for the Jayco's interiors and whatnot. Um, they are more comfortable couches than normal and does have like little hiding spots so you can put your remotes in there. They won't disappear. Cup holders. Along with over here, you do have a USB charger along with lights and heat. Oh, massaging and heating and lights. So these chairs do uh, kind of give you a uh, vibration massage along with heated, which is kind of nice during that winter time. This is a tri-fold couch. Again, one of those things that hides away really nice. So if you guys don't want guests to stay the night, you don't have to tell them about it. I'll go ahead and pull that out right now. Alongside the bed too is your USBs and 110 chargers on both sides. So if you are sitting here on the couch, you can charge stuff also. Um, more storage up top here. Nice deep cabinets. come out to be about the size of a queen bed so it does make a decent sized bed for if your guests want to come and stay the night and you saw how easy it was to take out it's just as easy to put back here As we keep moving along here, we do have the television that comes with the unit. It is gonna be done by Insignia. Insignia is the Best Buy brand, so it is really easy to take care of or replace or anything along those lines. Your new audio system that I was talking about was JBL. It sets up as a sound bar underneath the television, along with all your ceiling speakers are gonna now be JBL also. There is going to be four located in the ceiling in just the living and kitchen area. You know, the two in the bedroom and then two outside. They are on zone, so you can pick and choose which ones you want, along with the ones over here. The fireplace itself is an LED ambiance fireplace, and it's a 5200 BTU space heater. So on those days that are like 40, 45 degrees out, it will heat the unit up to a nice cozy temperature and not have to run the unit off propane itself. I did not mention the microwave up here. It is uh, one of the newer microwave sets I do like. It's from High Point. It is not a convection microwave. It is just a standard microwave. Um, again, with the three burner stove top. Your oven with cool lights that light up, all blue and whatnot. Storage underneath the oven also for big pots and pans. It is a deep cabinet storage drawer. The unit itself also comes with whisper air in the living area and in the bedroom itself. Whisper air is part of your AC unit uh, for those hot summers. They are going to be 15,000 BTUs each and the whisper air system is ducted differently than normal AC units. It is going to be anywhere between 25 and 30 decibels quieter than your typical AC unit. As we move along here, we're gonna walk through the hallway past the front door and we're gonna you kind of check out the restroom here. So it does have a nice towel drying rack there, along with one in here. You do have all your switches here. Right here, it does have the backlight on the mirror. And it has a blue light again in the ceiling for that night light. It's kind of funny in my camera. 
but it is a nice night light so that you can see at night. Lots of counter space, put stuff along the side. Big deep cabinet here, so you can add stuff up top, middle, and bottom. And then you do have space behind the mirror itself and the medicine cabinet to add things in there also. It is a porcelain toilet, which is kind of nice. It does sit higher than a typical toilet in an RV, which is, I prefer better. The shower is quite a bit larger than standard. It does have a nice area to put your feet up and make it easier to shake or sit down on and relax, along with your normal shower head. As we keep moving along here, we will enter the bedroom along with that whisper air system again, over there and over there. For the bedroom, it has its own AC unit. You're able to adjust the temperature on its own for the bedroom with the AC, which is kind of nice. As you walk in, this is your king size bed here. Extra lighting on top here that's easy to turn on and off. You do have the extra remotes in here for all the other stuff if, if you don't have your phone on you. All, again, all the lights are operated from your phone. It's fully ducted AC through here along with the whisper air system. So again, if you're running your AC at night, it is quite a bit quieter. You do have the drawers in here. Anytime you see the cabinet doors that look like this, that means it is prepped for a washer and dryer setup. We do have the washer dryer setup on both sides here. So you do one washer on one side and the dryer on the other side. So you don't have to do uh, the single all in one unit. Along with the wardrobe in here, hang your clothes at the top, sh a couple shelves in the rear, along with the nice long pull out drawers to add more things in those. If you're not gonna put the washer and dryer into, you do have the extra shelves in the back. Motion lighting, so as soon as you open the cabinet door, this light does turn on on its own and turn off on its own. And you do have the rack there, shelves, and the other one will be the same way. With the motion light, just like that. And then more storage above each one. TV in the bedroom, again, Insignia, so the Best Buy brand. The bed itself does lift up, and it is on its own assistant struts. It is a Serta mattress that comes with the unit itself. Your fold-away chairs are underneath here, along with your spray hose for outside. But tons of storage underneath the bed itself. And those folding chairs are the ones for the table that is out in the living area. I think that pretty much wraps it up for this video. If you got any questions, let me know. Give me a call.